I'm a little bit nervous. Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Um, welcome to my channel. Some of you have seen me before here. So a couple of years ago, I started this YouTube channel because I moved to the Philippines. It was such a big thing and I really wanted to show my friends and my family like how is this gonna be, how does this look like, etc. And I lived abroad already before that. I'm from the Netherlands, by the way. But it was kind of easy for me to explain how things were in Italy or in Denmark. But moving to the Philippines was, I didn't know how to say like how wide the sand on the beaches is or um, how tall a building is, etc. So anyway, so I started this YouTube channel and then what happened, of course, like my friends and family watched it. Some of my friends didn't watch it, but it's fine guys. But then a lot of Filipinos, they started watching this because I was working in a local tech startup and my whole team was Filipino and I, I don't know, I just really vibe with the culture. So people started following me and commenting and, and that's how this whole thing was created. But then I think one and a half or around two years later, I uh, changed my path and I quit my job and started traveling a little bit more. I tried to keep up with like the YouTube videos and I guess it was sort of becoming a travel vlog. But there were a couple of things that I wasn't comfortable with. Like I, even if I look at those videos back, the things that I saw were amazing, but it just felt like showing like, oh, this is what I'm eating and oh, this is another palm tree or oh, here's another coconut. I felt like there was not really a story and I just had a really hard time to, to find that excitement. Then I tried to tap in a little bit more into the digital nomad lifestyle and I was struggling big time. I was having a hard time getting projects, getting my finances up and running like everything was was kind of a mess and i guess this is like the ugly truth of that lifestyle that people don't really talk about um but that's why i i also kind of like let it go and i was just like okay this is not really working for me now there is a little bit of a change and that's why i'm sitting here right now doing this short introduction of what's gonna happen um so last year i uh so in 2019 I was in Bali quite a lot and then I moved to Australia or it means like moving I just traveled to Australia and uh, to meet some friends and I was there for three months it was really nice I love being in Australia but obviously it's super expensive so it was not really sustainable for me to stay there um, but I went back to the Netherlands so in 2020 I went back to the Netherlands to see my friends and my family so I stayed there for three weeks and then I went to Malta to visit teammates that uh, I'm working with and with the company I'm in. And then I went to Portugal. And that's where I'm still at. So today here, this video is happening in Portugal. And um, well, short story is that uh, I've been in Portugal for um, some time and I really, really enjoy it here. I love everything about Portugal, but Corona happened, right? COVID. And my idea this year was to stay in Europe, to travel between countries and always like touch base in the Netherlands because I feel like I am, yeah, I feel like I'm missing out on so many things like the life of my family, my sister, she has a little baby, um, that's actually on the channel, yeah. And then I have a nephew now, um, my brother got married, like, I don't know, there's just so much stuff happening and I'm never there, I'm never in any pictures. So my mission for 2020 was to be more at home and not just, you know, like be like, oh, I'm traveling and I don't give a shit about what's happening back home because that's not true. But then because of COVID, I couldn't. So I kind of got stuck in Portugal and I also didn't want to fly because my, my dad is a risk um, in that risk group and I didn't want to like risk him to, I don't know, to infect him or whatever. Um, so I decided not to go home and to just, yeah, just wait it out. And then, oh my God. So this is something I'm really excited for to share. So I, um, I met my partner. So it's really cool. Um, he is a nomad too, and he was looking for uh, housemates for like a house that he was renting. 
and um, yeah, so we got to know each other and we started to like each other and you know, yeah, so um, that was really cool. I will, I think maybe we can talk about that another time. But anyway, so I fell in love and now we have been together for a little bit over five months. It's been super nice. He's from Brazil. And this is after, I don't know, like maybe five minutes, why I want to start recording videos again, because we were talking about the COVID situation, visiting family, and it's kind of out of a question to go to the Netherlands. So we were thinking about going to Brazil. So we bought a ticket and um, we did it. Like we're flying out 10 days from now. I'm super excited. Uh, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, but this also got me thinking how am I gonna show my friends and my family and whoever wants to watch this like what am I doing how does my life look like and it's not that I think that I'm so special or whatever but I do think that a lot of people don't really understand like what this life is or what it is about or you know like the realness of it you know like all that kind of stuff and that's gonna be harder because I will be on the other side of the planet at least for me because now I am in Portugal and in 10 days I'm in Brazil. So uh, what's gonna happen? Uh, I don't know, I just think I'm gonna record every week. I will just take snippets of what we're doing, how life looks like, etc., etc., And then I'm just gonna drop it on this channel. Um, if there are still Filipino viewers, oh my God, hello. It's like, I don't know, I just, the one thing is that I love being in the Philippines and I still miss it and there's still people asking like Nina when are you coming back but unfortunately I can't but if ever if it's gonna happen I would love to show my boyfriend the Philippines and all the amazingness of the country and it's more than you know like just tropical stuff so yeah here we are so uh enjoy I hope you're gonna have fun here let me know if there's anything specific that you want to see or whatever. Um, and let's start, I guess. Welcome to a new vlog. Blurry. Hi. You want to say hello? Hello. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, guys, it's... 7 10 p.m. and we're still working but we're gonna eat soup this light is really bad we're gonna eat soup and watch a movie what movie are we gonna watch into the well <laughs> you watched that one already, right? i know i like to watch movies more than one time i think whenever you're watching when you watch a movie twice you always explore new stuff so, you want to say hello to the people, <laughs> to my oh friends, my to my family, to, I don't know, maybe people from the Philippines because they're always watching. Hello, people from the Philippines you have who to are look always here, watching. Not here. Here? Yeah, because Can otherwise... I look here? My beautiful nose. Your beautiful nose. Okay, we talk about the nose another time. Anyways, this is Marcos. This is my boyfriend. This is not a good time, honey. I'm so tired. But this is real. This is what the nomad life is. We're still working. No twerking. It doesn't need to be like that. That's true. So, where this are we going to be? our life <laughs> looks like. That's true. Oh, babe, where are we going to be 10 days from now? Um... We're going to be working. Where? In what, in what country? In my country. What is your country? You didn't tell them. Maybe you have to say it! You be no, here. maybe they, it's a good... Maybe they could guess. Hey, you. Oh, Can no, you guess actually. where I'm from and where we're going next? But the city, because I did say that we're going to Brazil, but I didn't say oh, they already know. where in Brazil, I think. Hmm, that's a good one. Okay, that's yeah, so easy. where where in Brazil? Why? Brazil is so big. Okay, it's not so easy. <laughs> Maybe we're going to the small town on, on top of a mountain. It could be. <laughs> Do I okay. look like a countryman? You are. No. Okay, and then another introduction has to be made. 
because there are also two our children. the children, two nomad cats. They're there together. Hi, baby cake. So this is Queen Vanilla. Vanilla. And oh. this is King Chai. Oh my god, Chai, you are so pretty. Chai Don't be shy. Don't be shy, King no, Chai. Not a full name. Sorry, Chai Latte because he looks like a Chai Latte. And Vanilla has well, it seems like she has black fur, but it's actually ah, you see it here. It's it's not black. It's brown. Exactly. Okay. Say hi, guys. Meo amigos, something like that. No. Okay, that's it, guys. Hi. Good morning. All right. Saturday today. Nine days before we leave. Um, it's a beautiful day today. Look at this. I didn't give a tour from the house, but this is our backyard. Ocean is right there. And then there's this garden. Hi oh guys. Let's go outside. Oh, it's cold. Oh my God. But look, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so cold. Let's go inside. Jai. Good morning. What are you doing? He loves to eat. It's so cute. Ooh. Work time. Vanilla. Oh, so cute. Enjoying the sun. I'm working here. And Chai is here. What? How nice is this? So it's Saturday today and um, usually we go to the market. Marcos is going for a surf now, but it's so cold. I don't know how he does it. Um, I think he will come back maybe in like half an hour. And then we're going to the market and I'm really excited to show you this because it's been one of our highlights of staying here in Santa Cruz. And it's just so amazing. Um, yeah, I don't know. You're just gonna see it for yourself, but it's fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna continue my work a little bit more. I'm working on my agency today. Um, so I basically, oh, that's also something new. So I design websites for experts. So think about freelancers, um, independents, um, experts, um, those people and I think especially now with COVID like last year a lot of people had to transform their business uh, offline to online and I think that um, it's, it's really challenging especially if you're not have any experience or if you don't have any experience with marketing or design and all that kind of stuff so yeah I've been thinking a lot about what I wanted to do and how I want to uh, use my experience and my expertise. So yeah, it's um, websites for experts. It's really exciting. And the other thing, um, what I really love is that usually I would only do English projects or like English speaking projects, but I've been realizing that I, of course I speak Dutch and I can actually use that. So I'm also focusing on the Netherlands with this. So I'm actually now translating all my website text to Dutch. And um, yeah, so I can target the Dutch market. Now I'm really excited for this. I already did a couple of websites, but it has always been um, like projects like, oh, hey Nina, can you please design my website because I don't know how to do it. And then I would just do it. Now I created a whole system, so it's way much easier for me, but it's also more um, effective. And I don't know, I've been working on this for the last couple of months. Oh, look, Jay is joining. So I don't understand cats because I am actually a bit of a dog person, but they always start licking and then this is gonna soon turn out in a little brother-sister fight.
brother sister fight. Okay, guys, be sweet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save them. Not cool. All right. I think Marco is still surfing, so I'm gonna go on my own to the market. But this is gonna be it. So the guys, while well, they're over there behind the cliff, and I'm gonna walk here and then go alongside the beach. It's super beautiful here. And then there is this long stretch of beach. So town is like right there. I think it's a 30 minute walk and it's so gorgeous. Okay, so I found Marco. He's just coming out of the water. Oh, I didn't get his last serve, I saw it. I don't know if you can see him, but he's far. Where is he? Oh, he's taking the bath. He's running there. No, oh, baby. No. Now that I. You have to record me. I found him. Okay. Yay! Honey, it's poor. Like that. There's a guy with a longboard there. Ah, the red one. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it from the cliff. Wow, so nice. He has a nine one. And it was like. There's a longboard. It's just. Yeah, I saw his last one. Oh, he was in front of me. No, I need one of those. Aww. So nice. Okay, I'm gonna buy us food. So, we are at the market. We just went for a run. And now we're gonna buy fruits, vegetables, seafood. And it's super nice because this is all local produce. Sunset. It's so nice here. Hey. Hey, honey. We're watching, you sir. You gotta tell your invisible friends that it's the first time in... Why don't you tell them? First time in years that I hang out at the beach. Such a good boyfriend. Without a surfboard. <laughs> no, thank you for coming. Oh, it's a pleasure. But it's so nice and the sun is gonna set. But it's a little bit cold even though I'm wearing a bikini. What's this? Ooh! Okay, so our home is this one, I think. Yeah. One, two. Yeah, this one. But look at the sky. It's so gorgeous. So, this is our view. the view from our room. The window is dirty. Chai! 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 <laughs> You're so cute. Say hello. Say hello to the people. Chai! Aw, King Chia, you're so cute. You're so cute. Are you excited for Sao Paulo? Sao Paulo. Guten Morgen. Oh, it's really dark. Like it's German, isn't it? Yeah. Why are you saying? Bon dia. Guten Morgen. Dormi ben? Oh, dormi ben. Dormi Ben? <laughs> Alright, so one thing that we always, or always that we do often is in the morning we're going to the cliff and then we're gonna watch the waves and check out the surf. So we have coffee and 
tea. I think it's good today. Yeah, for bit, him. A bit windy still. It's so dark here. Not for me, because it's like 1.5. I think it's over 2 today. Oh my god. Yeah, so I don't do that. So I'm really excited for Brazil. Hi. Hi. Hey. <laughs> You're gonna have a look? Oh wait, our neighbor. All right. Anyways, oh, he has a board sponsor. Is he really good? Um, he's good. So, but I don't know. <laughs> but, okay. Well, anyways. But not, I don't know. I don't think he's that good. Okay. Oh, I don't put that in. Anyway, so yeah. So um, I'm really excited for Brazil because the waves are gonna be a bit more mellow. And I want to try longboarding. Haven't done that. So, yeah. That's it. Are you excited? Yeah. Meu amor. Yeah. Meu, meu amor. <laughs> I'm trying to learn Portuguese. It's really hard, guys. Really hard. How's your grounding going, babe? It's a bit painful. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It looks very clean. Oh. This is crazy. And we just live right there. So, this is our backyard. Alright, so we're at the cliff now, and it's super cool because you can walk like all the way there. And then, yeah, so we're just gonna hang out there where Marco is. And. Just gonna look around a little bit. Ooh, nice shot. And then, oh, I can sit here. Oh. So this is it. Good, and this is just having our morning coffee. Yeah, oh, we finally got one. And the Portuguese, they are so good. Oh, this is a small one, but it's like it's ridiculous. It's really cool to look at the surf here because especially on the weekends because they're so good so it's really um, yeah it's really nice whoa what time is it it's eight. 2028 2028 okay whoo so it's Monday today. Woo. Seven, seven more. Oh, this light is not doing well for me. Woo. Seven more days. And um, what can I say about today? Well, it was a fine day. A great day. It's just uh, I've been trying to understand uh, whether I need to do a COVID test or not. And apparently, yeah, it's just really hard, I guess, because. The airline says that I don't need it, but I might need it when I arrive in Brazil. Um, then the, embass the Dutch embassy in Brazil basically says that I should ask the Portuguese, no, the Brazilian, the Brazilian embassy in Portugal because I'm in Portugal right now. And then they say that I should ask the Brazilian embassy in the Netherlands because I have a Dutch passport. And then they say that I should ask the airline. So this is so super confusing. So I'm gonna call tomorrow and I will just do a test and then hopefully it's positive. And then, yeah, at least I have a test. But yeah, and then, oh my God, something else happened today. So I ordered shoes because part of my closet are like white sneakers and I don't have white sneakers anymore. So I ordered them today at Food Locker um, 
I know it's from the Netherlands, so I didn't think there was something going on there. But then it arrived. Wait. Yeah, so it arrived. And I don't know if you can see the difference, but they're not the same. So this one has white hair and then this, I don't know what this color is. And then this one is pink and has like black hair. And yeah, so I got two different shoes, so that really sucks. But that's life. Other than that, life is great. We have dinner. Let's go and eat. Let's go. Fun, fun dead. What's that? Sh Shantar. 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 Shantar está na mesa. Shantar está na mesa. I'm trying to learn Portuguese. It's going great. Okay, so this is what's dinner. I show my plate because yours yeah. looks like a war zone. Why is that? It looks like a war zone. No, it's okay. But yeah, so we have salmon. It's a bit weird, but it's like not fully made. So it's a bit fresh here. And then baby potatoes with tomatoes from the oven. <laughs> so are they really born? <laughs> I keep saying that. No, with uh, oregano and there's olives and there's some parmesan cheese. All right, happy days. Whoop whoop, are you coming? You're blurry and furry. <laughs> yes, baby. Jay, we're not going on the table. Just relax. I love the fishy fish. Oh, Jay. I'm good, Jay. I like fish. My world is great. <laughs> I want more fish. I love salmon. Lots of salmon. Salmon is great. Oh, I can see. Sweet kitty, you look like a baby cat here. Hmm. Oh, Jai, you're gonna be famous. <laughs> Nomad cat. Oh, good Jai. Kick up the cats. Nomad cats. Jai, what do you want? Go, 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 go for the food. Go, 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 go for the food. <laughs> go for it, buddy. Oh, you're so cute. Good morning. Ugh. Okay, I had a great night of sleep. What's this? I feel pretty good. Um, yesterday I was a little bit stressed because of this COVID situation. It's just, yeah, it's just not nice that um, no one really knows what to do. Like, and everyone is sending me to a different place. So we're gonna call today. I'm gonna do a COVID test. And that's it, we have been in quarantine for like really long because no one is actually here. We don't really see friends or anything. And about three weeks ago, I had um, a say goodbye dinner to my friends who were in Ericeta. So I assume that, you know, it's all fine. We don't have any symptoms, but it's just really stressful. But yeah, today I'm gonna work. Um, I am finishing up a website for a finance, for a consultant in finance and investments and modeling. Um, so that was a nice project. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then uh, I also have some website audits that I'm doing. So I basically show people how they can improve their website. Um, yeah, that's more or less it. And I have for my other clients, I have some maintenance to do so I'm gonna do that I'm excited so it's gonna be a good day okay oh this against the light not smart yoga time so actually one of the things that we always do is we put the table up and then we do yoga here 
and then this is our view look it's super nice so you get mad and the ocean is right here Hey babe, hey, <laughs> what do you got there? A new home for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I fit in this cage. Sure. Here, let me help you. Oh my God, it's so big. Ah, oh, they're so cute. Hey guys, look how comfortable this is. Nomad caddies. So much space. <laughs> so it's Wednesday today, a couple of more days, Monday we're leaving, um, a little update, so the COVID test, I think it's, it's scheduled for Saturday, but we just need to confirm if I get the results on time, it should take only 48 or 40, 24 hours, but could take 48 hours, no one knows. I always like to pack slowly, a little bit in advance. I think especially now because I'm I'm a little bit nervous for this trip. I mean, I travel for six years, but I'm just a little bit nervous because of all this COVID situation. Okay, so packing is starting. I have some clothes here. Oh my God, I'm so excited to pack. This is really one of the favorite, favorite things. Well, it's not really one of my favorite things, but I don't know, it just gives a really exciting feeling. So, um, a little bit, I think, about packing is that um, obviously I have one suitcase, so I have the one that I just showed you, and then I have a, a smaller one, which uh, you can bring in the, in the cabin, right? So, that means that with everything, like, you just, you basically can't have too much stuff. Um, so it's really hard. So even now, like it was winter, so I'm gonna create a box to send to my family home because I don't need like sweaters like this. Um, or maybe I just like put them in like a container uh, where there will be the clothes will be distributed somewhere. Um, yeah, but this is the whole thing about like I guess also about like nomad life. And for me, I. I feel like I'm already very minimalistic and I don't have that much stuff and I'm super conscious about everything that I buy so I can, you know, like either combine it or 
whatever like i really think about it but then when i met marcos and then i saw his closet i was just like oh i actually have quite a lot of stuff because he is super super duper minimalistic um but i guess for guys it's different but yeah for girls it's i don't know anyways i'm really excited to pack so let's go oh yeah so my tactic is i have uh the table here and i'm just gonna roll everything so we're gonna be like like small rolls and then i put that in the in the suitcase and i always make photos of how much my suitcase is but i can't remember i think the last time so that was when i went from australia to, no when i came so that was when i went from malta from the netherlands to malta and then malta to portugal I think my suitcase, suitcase was like 19, something like that. Yeah, and when I came back from Australia, I was only 21, I guess. So I always like, I always managed to keep it below 23, even though I felt like freaking heavy. But um, yeah, let's see how it goes this time. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay. My stuff is here. There's just a little bit more there. Usually what I do is this. I pack a small bunch of my clothes. I put them in the small suitcase and the other ones. I put it in here. It really sucks if they lose your suitcase. It never happened to me, but it did happen to some nomad friends. And then if you have all your clothes, underwear, sport clothes, everything just in this one, that's really a hassle. So I don't wanna deal with that. So I'm gonna put like some workout clothes a dress because it's going to be quite warm there um yeah just you know like some basic stuff some underwear so at least if something happens with my suitcase which is small chances but still i have this one okay so now i'm gonna put everything in and that's it <laughs> Okay, so the other thing is, is that I don't recommend to travel with a lot of denim because it actually takes a ton of space and it's heavy, but I really like denim dresses and then this is the denim stuff or the shorts and then here I have some extra clothes. Oh, sorry. Here I have some extra clothes. King Chai is joining me with his favorite box. Look. He just completely rips the box. No, don't go in there, King Chai. It's all good. Go to your box. Good boy. You like the box. <laughs> completely in his own world. So beautiful. I have never seen a rainbow here. I haven't seen a rainbow in a while. This is amazing. Oh, I love this view so much. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so still Thursday. Um, there is a group for nomad girls. Um, it's called Digital Nomad Girls and they posted uh, a post. Oh wait, I think it's contacting. So anyways, they posted something about turbo relationships and that's kind of what I'm in. So it's yeah. Not turbo. Huh? Not turbo. Oh, it is. We moved to in together the same day. No. <laughs> anyways, I'm going to explain it later, but I'm just going to jump on something now and that's it. okay they're here wait wait okay well i can do a brief intro of both of us because a few of the things are the same <laughs> <laughs> we're, um, so we're both nomads writers journalists uh, we've both been nomading for nearly 10 years hello what's going on Ciao. hello Ah, okay, come on, guys. Come. 
Yeah. Come on. Oh, they're so cute. Jai. It's so funny when you give animals food. Okay, so oh, it's so much sun. Oh, it's really nice outside. Okay, so it's time to pick up the car. It's starting. And then on Monday morning, we're driving at 5 a.m. to Lisbon Airport, drop off the car there, and then check in. I'm so excited. It's also really nice because it's like the last day of the week. I don't have to work so much today, so it's just gonna be relax, relax, relax. Oh, and I'm also finally wearing normal clothes again, look. So that feels good too. All right, let's go. Okay, this is super gachino spam, but you're just the cutest. Chai is so happy because he has so many boxes. Look at him. He is going for it. Show your strengths, King Chai. Oh my god. Oh, you're so sweetie meaning. Good job, Chai. We're proud of you. Oh. All right, good morning, sweet people of this beautiful world. Um, it's Saturday. And I am nervous and excited for today. So I'm going to do a COVID test today and I don't get the results right away. But just to, to have that stick like in my nose, like I don't know about that. Um, and then, uh, so this is in Mafra. And then we have to also drive to Ericera, which is like near. That's also where we lived before to drop off my desk at a friend's house. So when I came here and Marcus and I started living together, I wanted to have my own desk. So I just got a desk at Ikea. And I've, we have been taking that from Ericera to Lisbon and to Santa Cruz. So now we are bringing it back to Ericera and yeah, just so someone else can enjoy the desk. And what else is on the agenda today? Um, I think that's it. Yeah, so I don't know. I am nervous and excited. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm gonna grab some coffee. And then I think we have maybe 30 more minutes before we have to leave. So let's see. Okay, I'm here now. I'm super nervous. It's crazy. Hey babe. Yeah. What's happening? Talk. <laughs> well, we're here in the the hose. This is our last. Dear Rose. Dear Rose. Dear Rose. Dear Rose. Dear. 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 Like sweet or. Oh dear, yeah. So we're here at Dear Rose, and I just had my chai latte with um, soy milk. Nina is having, I don't know, some sort of coffee. We also just ate an energy ball and it's raining outside, it's a bit cold, everyone's wearing their jackets, so it's a different scenario uh, than we usually see around here, people on surfboards and surf shorts and stuff like that. So I'm just talking because Nina asked me to talk and so I'm just, you know, telling out everything that's happening around here and this is our... We're gonna leave in a couple of days, so we're a bit nostalgic already. I I used to come to this coffee every time, people know her, they know her by the name, it's so nice, huh? And now we're living it, so yeah, it puts things into perspective, so we're going into some new adventures. So. <laughs> okay, that was an amazing story, but yeah, it's true. So we were here in the road, or I was here a lot, like working online, super nice. Um, and since we're in Eddie said, I think it's good that, you know, to say goodbye before we head over to Brazil. All right, I'm gonna enjoy coffee and session time. Woo! He has done. Good morning. Whew. All right, it's Sunday. It's the last day before. Oh. So it's Sunday. It's the last day before. We leave tomorrow morning at 8 
40 is our flight. I'm so excited. I really am. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I'm really excited to, to be back in the city. But yeah, yesterday we were in Ericea and it was also very nostalgic because that's where it all like started. That's where we met and I don't know, it was good to see some friends. Um, obviously this is him, but yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna make some tea. I'm gonna edit this video. And I already did like half of my packing. And then today I'll probably work a little bit and if the weather stays nice, we're gonna go for a drive and uh, just see the area a little bit. So that's for today. Ooh, I'm so excited. Oh my god. So my test results are in from the COVID. It's in Portuguese, so I need the translator. Marcos, por favor. Translate. Hi, there's a password to access it. I don't have a password, they didn't give me a password. Trying to figure it out. <laughs> he said, like, I'm so nervous and he's just so chill. So, is this not the password one of those? Oh my god! Alright, last surf check in our backyard this is like one of the things that we do every morning we get coffee marcos is grounding <laughs> it's not a good shot now but let's wait for another set Whee! maybe a storm is coming time well the sun is behind the clouds but it's so pretty and we brought the car like all the other Portuguese people do right babe her last dinner in the Santa Cruz home okay so dinner is mustard mayonnaise and ketchup boom, 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 boom. No, I'm joking. There is octopus salad. There is tuna steak um, with sweet potato. And then I made a burger um, and fries. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Maybe one more. Chai, are you ready? Are you ready for a trip to Sao Paulo? Oh, buddy. No, I can't. Hi. It's okay. Okay, guys, it's, um, I think it's 4.45, something like that. Oh, it's very windy. And we're just wrapping up, and then we're going to the airport. Super excited for this. So, stay in the car. Woo. Oh, the caddies are here. Hey, Chai. Vanilla is there in the back. You don't see her. She's so dark. So they're all good. We're checked in as well. Um, it was super smooth, actually. I was very, very nervous. Um, but it's all good now. So I think, yeah, Marcos is paying the other stuff. And Oh, and my suitcase was only 22 kilos. So I'm mega proud. All right, I'm waiting for him now, and then it's time to leave. It's oh. All right, so as you can see, we are on the plane. It's happening. What a morning. So we woke up so early, um, but everything was fine. Like, um, yeah, everything was just fine. Very smooth, and it's funny because um, I always travel alone, so I never nomad it with someone else like in a relationship so it's really funny to like I've been a nomad for so long but this whole experience with someone else is very different than you but I really like it so yeah I'm super excited and I'm very excited to meet his family to see Sao Paulo 
Te vejo em São Paulo. Te vejo em São Paulo. Alright, bye.